Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The verse I'm going to talk about is the only time in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about a house in Jannah. And it's the verse where Asiya, she talks and she says that Oh Allah, build me a house in Jannah. Now, why was Asiya making this dua, a specific dua for a house in Jannah? Imagine Asiya, she was married to the worst person ever, Fir'aun, as we know. And she was living in Egypt at the time. Now, when Fir'aun, uh, he said, Ana rabbukumul a'la. He said, I am your Lord, the Most High. And Asiya did not believe. She believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She had that love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in her heart. What happened? What did Fir'aun do? Fir'aun put her on the baking sand. Anyone that's been to Egypt, you know in the summer how hot the sand can get. On the baking sand. And then she had uh, a boulder, a huge boulder that would have been heated up by the sun. A baking boulder placed on top of her. And then the heat of the sun. So three types of heat, the heat of the sand, the heat of the rock, the heat of the sun. And she started smiling. As Ibn Kithir and other uh, scholars of Tafsir mentioned, she started smiling. Now the people around her said, why is it that you're smiling? And we know based on the narration that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent angels to shade her during that time. Why? Because of her love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's very important for us that we try during this month to increase our love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How can we do this? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa told us a shortcut way. We don't need to go through the things that Aisha went through to, in order to get a house built in Jannah. How? The Prophet sallallahu said in Sahih Muslim, whoever prays the 12 sunnah rakah in a day, two before Fajr, four before Dhuhr, two after Dhuhr, two after Maghrib and two after Isha, you pray those in a day, Allah will build for you a house in Jannah. And every day you pray it, Allah builds you a new house in Jannah. And that's one of the most important lessons we learn in terms of how we get the love of Allah by showing Him we love Him through our ibadah.